Good morning YouTube, I am Colin, welcome to my life in video where I could swear like 20 minutes ago it was light out here but apparently not. We're still in all the winters even though it's January now and well, we're heading through to Natalie's today. The camera does seem a bit fuzzy but I can't really 100% tell if it's the camera that's fuzzy or just my vision because my eye is still throbbing. Two seconds, I just need to get stuff out of my pockets. Ugh. This car has not been started in a couple of days, but one thing I did find that I've decided to bring with me is this, my suction cup for my camera, so I can stick that on my windscreen at some point and do a video that way. But ugh, it's cold! Oh. Oh, right. You're gonna be a bitch and not start. Oh, go ahead, radio. Ready? Wait, put that light on the second. Three, two, one. Right, so there's a wee bit of a rattle with it and stuff like that, but. Woo! Look at that! The check engine lights half again. I don't know why that even constantly happens, but I don't even bother my arse with the check engine light anymore. Like, wait, can I sit you? I'm just going to sit you there for a second between the wheel and stuff. Um, right, window down a second. And then bring you out again. But yeah, we're going to turn that off a second. Ooh. On the plus side, with how dark it is out there and stuff like that, you can't see my eye. <laughs> Cause I was actually planning on wearing my new sunglasses and stuff like that, but it's dark so I can't really wear them. I've got these stupid crappy things and I do have my other ones in there, which I'm probably going to need to wear, I can't think about it. Wait, where are they? My other sunglasses have disappeared. My ones that I, oh, right, I need to take that back in. Where in the hell did they go? They've gone. The other ones that have gone, I've got better changeable lenses because I need them for driving at night so I don't get blinded and stuff. But yeah, you can actually see how slightly swollen it is and stuff like that. I do have all my creams and all that stuff with me, so let's get going. Now, as I was driving up here, the windscreen did end up fogging up a bit, but that's only because I forgot to put the. Um, Blowers back on, or a fan, or whatever the hell you want to call it. But it's back on now, didn't have time to heat up or nothing like that, so it's bloody freezing. And right now, I just need to hope that all of this footage is not going to be bored and all the rest of it. Because I currently can't tell. Look after your eyes, people, honestly, just look after your eyes. You take your eyes for granted and all the rest of it. But just look after them because I made the mistake of not doing it and look at me, I can't fucking see. But anyways, in here now, get a couple of things that we need and then away through it and that as well. It'll be nice and warm, nice comfy bed. I think, wait, I know what the problem is, two seconds. Ah, that is so much better now, I can actually see. Turns out my brightness is too far down because I turned off the automatic brightness thing, so that was down. So I've got, so far, my grapes and my pizza night. First time this year having pizza night as well, but I've basically spent all day in my house trying to hide from the sunlight and all the rest of it, and yet I'm in this one place, bright as fuck. But right now I just need to find one of those, I can't remember where the hell they are. Uh, <laughs> I can't, ah, there they are, two things. I currently can't find popcorn. I find the small bags of toffee mm. butter kiss stuff, but Natalie prefers the sweet stuff, not the toffee one. I just can't find it anywhere. It's irritating me, and the funny thing is, everyone just staring at my eye as if when the fuck happens to you, I'm better stay, stay away from him kind of thing. <laughs> oh, it's so amusing. <sighs> right, so as I now done, and as that, I think I managed to pick everything up, I'm not 100% sure. The only thing I'm not really sure about is the toothpaste that Natalie wanted now. She keeps on she keeps on picking up toothpastes 
Now I've got two full tubes of toothpaste in the house, but, well, in her house that she won't use because she doesn't like them. But I ended up bumping into Rose as well when I was in there, so that was good. And she got to see my gummy eye again. But where in the hell did I actually park? Ah, right there. But yeah, I've got my dinner and stuff like that as well, so I think that's everything I needed. Now just to hopefully have no wind hit my eye because as soon as the wind hits my eye it starts to leak like fuck. But yep, let's go. Wait, uh right, I need to get stuff in the car first. Uh, I don't know what it is, but I've always found something like dead peaceful about having a nightly drive when the roads are nice and calm and all the rest of it, even though it is technically te well Type of we get stuck in traffic and all that stuff. I don't think everyone's back to work yet, but I've always enjoyed just driving at night. Even though with everyone else driving on the roads, it does blind me, but I, I do enjoy it. But right now, I'm just casually driving, making sure I'm sitting in the speed limit, heading through the alleys. I actually can't really wait to just stop driving because I'm sore, and I know I've got to drive quite a bit tomorrow as well for work. So, yeah. And we are now back. Just need to make sure I've had to take the dummy and dummy chain in with me so that I can go in the jacket pocket for now. Electric fag, the bottle always just stays down there because I'll most likely need a drink at some point tomorrow. And yeah, I'll be using that as my juice. Grab my bag. And then open the door. I'm actually fucking freezing. But not as bad as I was. I think I had a slight dose of hypothermia. Oh fuck, what in the hell am I jammed on? Fucking handbrake I was jammed on there But I think I had a slight hypothermia at some point last week because during the day nothing, and I mean nothing would heat me up and then suddenly at night as soon as Natalie would join me in bed I would get, yeah she could finally heat me up but no, I would end up sweating my balls off Right, hey, stick that bag on there properly. Oh, fucking strap. I need to get these straps sorted, honestly, because the only thing I don't like about this bag is the fact that the straps aren't very, well, useful, if you know what I mean. But, yeah, grab that, grab that, and then, oh, wait. The pass that you use on top of the pot windows now do not move. Two seconds. Ugh. Right, that can go in there. That in the pocket. And now we can go again. And I've also gave myself enough space between the, the two cars as well so that I can get out in the morning. Because one thing I hate is parking up right next to someone and expecting someone else to maybe uh, get, leave space behind me. They never fucking do. Because I could even, even parked. Actually, wait, you can't even see it. I could even park in this space here. But the bastard that lives in that house right there always parks right up against my fucking motor. So, yeah. Sorry about the darkness, I'm currently trying to make sure my trousers don't fall down as well. The one plus side to be not well, I suppose, is the fact that I just the settings. As I was saying, one of the good things about the fact that I've been ill for just over a week now is the fact that since I, have, I didn't eat for like four days in a row or something like that, other than maybe a bit of soup, I lost weight. So that is my New Year's resolution to lose some weight and stuff like that. So so far so good. The end of the stuff I've got in the bag isn't exactly going to help, but I don't care. It's going to taste nice, and I just want to try and get all the nice flavors out of the way so that I can concentrate on losing weight. But right now I'm just going to watch a bit of YouTube because yeah, and I've actually noticed that I don't know what the hell's over here, but there's a wee bit that I can sometimes pull. And then bring right across the eye, it's weird. But, yeah. Now he's got my dinner in now, so I think she's going to put my dinner in. And Mia and Jaden's right there sleeping. Oh, could he have done on the bed as per usual when he's got his own crib there? He doesn't even use it. He refuses to sleep in it. Uh, fighting, fun. <laughs> 
But it is good, I'm mostly really glad you sent us here. So hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe to college today, and goodbye for now.